in Access 2007. We're going to create a macro and add that macro to this form. And the macro is going to be a simple macro. It's going to close this form, go into Design View, and come back to the Form View because what happens with pull downs is if you type in a new value and you go to the row below to enter that value again, it won't be there because the form has to go into Design View and then back to Form View. And rather than have to do go design here and that will make a simple macro and we'll add it to this form. Let me show you what I mean about putting in a new value. Let's put in the word zebra. All right. When I go to here, it's not there. So what we will do is we're going, going to go into the design of this form and we're going to make a macro and add it to this form. I'm going to go up here to the create button and we're going to do a macro close this form that's the form name the save we want yes and as I mentioned in other access videos you should really put a comment up here just so you know what the heck's going on and now we're going to open the view is going to be design view and now we're going to and it's going to be this time in the form view and now we're going to save this macro we'll call it zebra underscore M okay now let's get that macro and we're going to drag it onto the form there it is let's go up here and we'll move it there we'll go into properties we'll make it a double click Fine. Save the form. Close this. Go to just save it again. Double check. Now we're going to go to the form view. All right. I'm going to try a new record here. There's zebra there, but let's try a new value. O. K. All right. Now go down here. And our OK is there. So it's a very simple way to update your combo boxes using a simple macro in Access 2007.